what we have here is a Palmer Amaranth uh, that was in, our, in a cotton test of ours uh, where we sprayed a half pound of a dicamba product. I believe it was Ingenia in this case, but it wouldn't matter if it was Ingenia or Extendamax. Extendamax at 22 ounces, Ingenia at 12.8 ounces, and we applied it just as the label specified in that four inch range. A lot of these, a lot of times in these fields, that first application will die, but there's always a percentage that will live. In some places, it's, it's a pretty high percentage. Uh, what you'll often see, though, is that for the next 10 days or so, they'll even start to stretch out. That, this is actually the main stem that was up when, when it was sprayed. They'll stretch out another couple inches. Sometimes it'll, you'll see new regrowth come right out of the apical mare stem, but more often you'll see a lateral growth come out of the bottom, like you see here about 15 to 21 days out, and it'll start growing like a real pigweed, uh, that two to three inches a day instead of the two to three inches every five days. The reason I bring this up is when you get these, these survivors that are starting to regrow 10 to 14 days out, an uh, ideal application is a, is, a, is a 29 ounce per acre rate of Liberty. It will very readily take out these survivors. And right now in late June, early July, very hot, very humid, sprayed middle of the day is right in its wheelhouse. Liberty is a very consistent pigweed herbicide with this environment. And the other reason I bring it up is we're having quite a few drift issues now with dicamba out there. And there's really no reason to be spraying dicamba in our cotton crop uh, from here on out. I would just go strictly with Liberty to take out any survivors and also just anything that's new coming up because it will be very effective.